Hi everyone, this is Diary of a Mystic. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be performing a reading on 18-year-old Maddie Bell, missing since May 17th, 2020 from Greenfield, Ohio. This is my first reading on her, and I haven't shuffled the cards. We're going to shuffle them on camera and take a look at the psychic energy surrounding her disappearance. So I'm going to shuffle on camera. If you don't like the shuffle, you're welcome to skip through. If you watch my channel, I start each reading with the full card on the bottom of the deck. So let's get started. Maddie Bell, 18 years old, from Greenfield, Ohio. I'm picking up the name of Charles or Chuck. I'm not sure of the boyfriend's name, uh, but I'm picking up the name Charles or Chuck, or he goes by Chuck. I'm also getting sandy blonde hair, kind of dirty blonde, young. White male, 22, 23 years old. Maddie Bell, 18 years old from Greenfield, Ohio. They're also showing me the color purple, something to do with the color purple. What are the energies surrounding the disappearance of Maddie Bell, 18 years old, from Greenfield, Ohio? They're also showing me the date of 11 13 19, November 13th, 2019. Something may have been established with communication with this person that I'm picking up on with Maddie going back to November 13th, 2019. So we're going back to April, March, February, January, December, six months. I feel that she traveled. I feel that she got into the car, but she was unsure about it. So I'm going to go, I'm going to skip through these cards and go to this right here, which is the most recent past. I feel that she did get into a vehicle with the chariot card energy, but she was very indecisive about it. She wasn't sure. Uh, there's also an element of uh naivete, so to speak, meaning a bit of a denial about this person, okay? So I feel that she has traveled. I don't feel that they keep showing me northeast. So I don't feel that she's 
that far. Okay, so the Two of Swords energy shows me also that this could be something where she's traveled a short distance with this person. We don't have any court cards in the reading. However, we do have a queen, which could be very representative of her. So the first card is the Nine of Rods. Close to home, okay? And someone who was very defensive. When I see the Nine of Rods, this could be defending themselves, having to physically defend themselves, defend uh, what they're saying, speaking, thinking. This is defensive attitude as well. This uh, energy comes through. Uh, this feels like someone who is or she had to defend herself physically. Okay, the Nine of Rods energy comes through. I feel that there was a relationship with this person. I don't feel that there was something about this male that I'm picking up on that she didn't know who this person was, okay? I feel with the world card next to page of cups, uh, this could have been something where the root was already established, but it was a beginning of a relationship or the beginning feelings of a relationship, friendship towards each other but it had roots, meaning this was not someone who she met or had not known or had abducted her or stranger danger. This is someone who she had roots with for quite some time, but it was in the earliest stages. Okay. But there's something, uh, there could have been, there's some kind of like bad boy energy attached to this person as well. It's like the bad boy energy attached to this person. So once again, the past travel indecisiveness about going. I feel that she wanted to go. I feel that this was a situation where she emotionally had enough of something. This could have been she wanted to check out. The Eight of Cups shows me that she had checked out months ago emotionally, whether it was towards her living arrangements at home, her, her current relationship. The Eight of Cups is basically, I've given all I can give 100%. I'm not feeling it anymore. Okay. The Two of Pentacles shows me she was juggling two different relationships as well. with the Two of Pentacles energy, trying to keep balance of everything. There may also have been emotions attached to the past with the Six of Cups energy for her, looking back upon the past, looking back upon her parents' relationship together, marriage of what the happy times felt like, and she may have wanted something like that or dreamt of having that type of romance or that type of love or wanting to create uh, that type of feel for herself. Because the family cards here with the Ten of Cups, so this is longing for something. Fulfillment, happiness, comfort, love, family. Okay, so there's a longing here, I feel, for her that she have, may have been wanting to create for herself. Uh, this person could have had much to do in terms of convincing her of, oh, this is what we will have together, okay? The Queen of Swords is here next to the Knight of Pentacles. This could represent Maddie's energy, air sign female. This could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I'm not sure of her birth date, if anyone knows if she's air sign. The Nine of Pentacles shows me that she was looking for a long-term 
traditional type of love, family, home, children, okay? But I also feel that within weeks, we may hear of something uh, attached to Maddie. In the reading itself, it doesn't give me a sense of anything horrible happened to her. I feel that there's a willingness to go. And looking at her energy attached to the Knight of Pentacles, a slow, steady progress of wanting to create something for herself. She has this energy of long-term dreams, long-term success. She had an image, perhaps, of what she, at her age of 18, what she wanted in terms of family for herself, marriage for herself, relationship for herself, dreaming of children one day for herself, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is a slow, steady pace towards this. I feel that something is with her. She had been maybe perhaps planning this for a long time. And she may have been feeling or felt that it was rightfully her decision to do this. I'm 18 now, okay? And there could have been defensive energies at home within herself, meaning she felt that she had to defend her ideas or she felt defensive perhaps towards others in the home. This is a card of standing up for yourself and defending your ideas. I do feel, however, the person that she is attracted to or is with, perhaps, is also kind of like a bad boy image. So the Emperor comes through and the Eight of Rods. So this person's older. And they had some control. There was communication going on with the Eight of Rods energy, texting, email, whatever the kids do now, okay? The Emperor is authority, control, commanding, demanding, power. So this person had rule over her. Uh, definitely there was communication that was happening prior, I feel, to her uh, disappearance and something definitely connected to, um, I know the news outlets have put out a, a car, a white car, I think it's a Nissan. In terms of why, why did she do this or why is this happening? The High Priestess is here when I see this card, this shows me not all is yet revealing itself, okay? There's a mystery to this, and to really trust our intuition and our gut instincts in terms of why she would do something or why this has occurred is not revealing itself totally. However, there could be something associated with, when I see the Eight of Pentacles, this is in the beginning stages of work, job, school, anything that we're learning about. This could be anything that we're studying about. This could be anything that we are uh, learning a new skill, the apprenticeship stage. She may not have been too sure uh, about going to college. That may not have been something that she wanted to do. Okay, she may have wanted to get a job and travel and go live somewhere else. All right, so... There's something definitely attached to that mystery. If, if that was something that she discussed or talked about, she may have defended that idea to her to her family. And I feel that in order for her to perhaps do this, she had to cause some disappointment and betrayal. Uh, the King of Swords to me is the strategizer. Okay, so this was basically mapped out, and it would ultimately cause betrayal, pain, disappointment uh, to other people because we're 
looking at the energies of her, looking out upon her life, what is out there for me. This person, however, that is with her definitely had great influence, okay? Definitely had great persuasion, great influence over her. This also could be someone who was military. When I see the King of Swords, he's the general in the tarot deck to me. This also could be indicative of someone who is military as well. So this is what I'm picking up on for Maddie Bell, who's 18 years old, missing from Greenfield, Ohio since May 17th, 2020. If you're following this case, thank you so much for watching. Please share and subscribe and take care, everyone. Stay blessed and I'll speak to you soon.